Drax, weren't you working with the engineering department last week on some safety initiative? Yep. A lot of non-engineers were getting hurt when they wandered near the engine room during refueling operations. We came up with new training notices and warning signs and placards to notify the crew about radiation safety. Safety campaigns are not going to work. People are still going to get severe harm due to radiation exposure. No matter what you do. Well, we hope that's not the case. Hey, while there, I heard about how the new radiation vests block even more harmful rays from damaging vital parts of the body. Like, 98% can now be blocked. Radiation vests are a bad idea. Engineers are still going to get hurt from radiation, no matter what you do. Hmm, I guess you're right. Excuse me, gentlemen, I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, Mr. Jakarl, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the nirvana or perfectionist fallacy, a type of false dichotomy. I thought he was making pretty good sense. That may be so, Mr. Thrax, but the form of the argument isn't valid. The nirvana fallacy is the informal fallacy of comparing actual things with unrealistic idealized alternatives. Sometimes stated as, the perfect is the enemy of the good. The nirvana fallacy refers to the tendency to assume there is a perfect solution to a particular problem. By creating a false dichotomy that presents one perfect yet completely implausible option, a person using the nirvana fallacy can attack any other opposing idea because it is imperfect. Mr. Jakarl, you committed the nirvana fallacy when you dismissed Mr. Thrax's idea of enhancing crew radiation knowledge and use of improved protective equipment because they didn't completely eliminate the possibility of any radiation injury. Striving for perfection is not the same as the nirvana fallacy. Having a goal of perfection or near perfection and working towards that goal is admirable. However, the fallacy is in giving up on the goal because perfection is not attained despite major improvements being achieved. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yes. I will endeavor to use better reasoning in the future. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the nirvana fallacy, a type of false dichotomy. It's only logical.